Hi everyone, this is Barb Marion and it's uh, video number 15. I want to share with you today some enlightening um, thoughts that I received actually in an email uh, from a relative of mine and it talked about, well it was titled Keep Your Fork. So it got my curiosity, you know, to read this email. But it was it talked about a woman who was diagnosed, you know, with a terminal illness and had only been given three months to live. So she was, you know, getting her things in order. You know, she had contacted the pastor and had him come, you know, to the house and discuss, you know, certain aspects of her final wishes. You know, and she told him, you know, the different things she wanted, you know, what songs she wanted sung at the service and, you know, what scriptures she wanted read and you know, what she wanted to be buried in, you know, things like that. You know, so everything was, you know, in order. And the pastor was just preparing to leave. And the wooden woman suddenly remembered something very important. And she said, there's one more thing, she said, you know, excitedly. And the pastor said, what's that? You know, and this is very important, the young woman continued. I want to be buried with a fork in my hand. So the pastor, you know, looked at the w w woman wondering, you know, about a statement like this, you know, and so the woman said to him that, you know, that surprises you, doesn't it? You know, well, to be honest, you know, I'm puzzled by the request, you know, said the pastor. So the woman, the woman explained my grandmother once told me this story and from this time on I have always tried to pass along its message to those I love and those who are in need of encouragement. In all of my time, in all of my years of attending social dinners I always remember, this is what she's saying, I always remember that when the dish, dishes of the main course were finished and, you know, the tables being cleared. Someone would always say, in, inevitably, and keep your fork. So it was a favorite part of her saying because she knew that something was still coming. You know, like a velvety chocolate cake or a deep dish apple pie, something wonderful and with substance. So I just want to, I just want people to see me there in the casket with a fork in my hand and I want them to wonder what's with the fork. Then I want to, want you to tell them, and she's still talking to the pastor, I, st I want you to tell them, keep your fork, the best is yet to come. So the pastor, of course, his eyes welled up and, you know, and thinking about her statement of the best is yet to come. And even though she's dying, yes, she's going to heaven. The best is yet to come. So during the funeral service, you know, when the people were walking past, you know, the, he could hear the people saying, What's with the fork? You know, what's with the fork? You know, as they saw the fork in her hand in the casket. So when he was up talking, he shared with them, you know, his story that he had had with her prior to her passing. And, you know, to, it got me thinking too about, I never, you know, the, the fork is quite interesting, you know, I like that statement, keep your fork, because the best is yet to come. And I'm thinking even with our business, you know, we get stuck, we get sometimes down because things aren't going the way we want. But keep the fork, because the best is yet to come. If you just be... Um, Just be strong in, in your beliefs and in your focus and your, 
just be constant in what you're doing and the best will come. So I just wanted to share with you, you know, this enlightening email that I received about maybe next time you pick up your fork, you can focus on the best is yet to come. Whether it's going to be a dessert, whether it's going to be in your business, it will make you think about this quote, the best is yet to come. So I, w I wish the best for everyone listening to this, and I hope that you will put into practice your thinking, you know, that the best is yet to come. No matter what struggles you may be going through, you know, in any area of your life, the best is yet to come. So with saying that, I just want to say thank you for listening. Um, if you want to see more videos and just check out the things that I'm doing, just click the link below and it'll take you to the other side and I'd be happy to see you on the other side. Have a great day.